Kira Sano, my name's Berta and welcome back to our channel. In today's video I came up with this green smoky eye for the rainbow series that I'm doing. This look is actually dedicated to my namesake, my auntie Berta. We were talking about my rainbow series and doing the green look and she asked if I could dedicate this to her. She asked if I could do a natural green look and so I did and it's just for her. I love you so much auntie, thank you for supporting our channel, uh, being our number one supporter, watching every video and liking and commenting and all of that. We love and appreciate you so, 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 so much. And this looks for you. Dun, 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 dun. Anyway Fano, if you'd like to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Funny, you've already seen the finished look, so I'm going to go ahead and do it on this eye. I am using a mixture of the Morphe X Jeffree Star Palette, the 39A Artist Dare to Dream Palette, and obviously I'm using all of the greens in this palette. Oh my gosh, I haven't spoken all day today and I feel like I've still got like my sleeping voice. So I'm going in with the shade Wake and Bake and I'm just taking that through the crease. This is just the transition shade, just nice and diffused. I really wanted to try a natural makeup for the green look, just because all of the other ones I feel like were quite, I mean, I would still wear them, I did still wear them, but they weren't as wearable. I've already done a couple green looks on my channel, and so I thought I should try and make green wearable, and this eye look is super duper wearable and it's nice and easy too and then i'm going to go in with just a slightly smaller blending brush and i'm going to pick up the shade fickle in the dead dream palette and i'm just going to take that just below the transition color and this is just going to further define the crease and then back in with a big fluffy brush just to blend those two colors together I'm going to pick up a more dense pencil brush and go in with the shade Pine from the Dare to Dream palette and I'm just going to apply that to the outer V and just start deepening up the outer V and bringing that slightly into the crease. Then I'm going to go in with that fluffy brush and just blend that into the shade Fickle and into the crease a little bit. And then back in with the bigger fluffy brush. Back in with the bigger fluffy brush and just blending that all together. I'm going to go in with a eyeshadow picker brush and with the shade Lynn, which is a creamy white colour. And I just go ahead and add that to the eyelid. And then I'm going to go in with the fluffy brush and just blend that into the crease and the out of the colour. And now because I've got eyelash extensions on, I'm just going to dust all of that eyeshadow out of my eyelashes because I can't apply mascara or anything. This is also really good because it's an all matte look. But trust me, it was so hard for me to not like dive into these beautiful shimmery green shades in here. I'm also going to take a touch of Lynn and just set my eyebrow bone with that as well. And then one last time in with the big fluffy brush and just blending all of that together. And last but not least, I'm just going to go ahead and define my lash line with a little angled brush in the black shade Fast Lane from the Jeffree Star palette. And I'm just going to apply that as close as I can to my lash line. I really like defining the lash line like this when I'm not wearing any falsies or mascara or anything like that. It just helps to make my lashes stand out a little bit more I guess. And just one more time through, putting the spoolie through my eyelashes. Now I'm just going to quickly go ahead and do my face makeup off camera and I'll come back and finish off the eyes. Hope that worked. Anyway, as you can see, I went ahead and did my face off camera and I did this lower lash line and now I'm just going to go ahead and do that on here. It's really, really simple. All I did is went in with a angled brush and the darkest green shade, Pine, and I'm just applying that to the outer half of the lower lash line. And I'm also just like 
bring it up like that to follow that out of E. And then I'm taking the blending brush again and going in with a mixture of Wake and Bake and Fickle and I'm just going to blend that out. And it's that easy. And I'm just going ahead with a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line. And, whoa, this nose highlight. My nose highlight always just goes off, eh? Like. Now I'm really contemplating going in with an inner corner glitter. But like I did say, I was gonna, this was gonna be like a matte green smoky eye, so. I'm not too sure. What are you drinking? Glitter or no glitter? I really feel like it'd look really cool with some glitter on the inner corner. But I'm trying to keep this like natural. Oh, I love glitter. Should I do like a glitter option? Like this could totally be it. You could totally keep it at this. Thing is, I do this all the time. All the time I do this. Where I'm like, I want to do a really natural look. And then I'm like, glitter. What does that look? That still looks natural. It's just a little bit of glitter, guys. Don't all freak out at once. See, that looks so cool. And I don't even know if you can see it, but it's got like huge chunky glitter on it as well. And it didn't change the look up that much. Anyway, these are Unicorn Goo Intense Glitter Balm. And they are from the brand, I think, Unicorn Goo. Academy glitter. I picked up a bunch of these from the warehouse, so I've actually never ever heard of them ever before. But they were only a dollar, so and like look at the quality of this, and it's got chunky glitter in it. And I finally picked up a glitter adhesive and along with the like full on chunky glitters. So if I'm gonna say glitter one more time, you're welcome. I'm just like trying to figure out what lip I would wear with this because what lip do you wear with green? I'm just gonna go in with a nude gloss. And I'm not even going to line my lips or anything, but this is the Revlon Super Luscious Lip Gloss in the shade 215 Super Natural. See, Super Natural, just like my look. This is such a nice lip gloss. It's not like super glossy. It's just like a nice touch of gloss. It's like not sticky at all. It's really, really natural and I really, really love it. I'm gonna go ahead, pull down my hair and do the outro. This is the green makeup look for my rainbow series. I really love how it turned out, giving you a little natural moment for this color. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell down below so that you can keep updated with all of our new content. I hope you guys have a blessed day or night, whatever time of day it is for you when you're watching this, and we'll see you in our next video. Kaki te whanau.